children. Uh, we miss you. I, I just want to tell you all that we miss you here. Uh, we miss having Sabbath school with the children. And I'm pretty sure you miss coming to church. Well, today we're going to talk about prayer and what we need to do every single day and as many times as we can because uh, Jesus is coming very soon. So let's see. Today I'm going to I'm going to talk to you about breathing. Does breathe, is breathing important? Do we need to breathe to live? Yes. What happens when we stop breathing? We die, right? So breathing is so important. And I want to tell you that prayer is as important as breathing. Um, breathing keeps your, your bodies alive and prayers keep our souls alive. Our bodies won't forget to breathe, but we sometimes do forget to pray. So when, when we start forgetting to pray often, we get further and further away from God. So it's as if we don't know him anymore, and we don't want to forget God. We don't want to get further and further away from God. So we need to remember to pray. And I have an idea for you to do at home. I want you to find a... a, a book that's that hasn't been written in a notebook a journal i want you to start journaling your prayers i want you to write down letters to god so prayer is like a letter to god so i want you to to start writing down the thoughts that come to your mind um, as you're at home in these in these times where we can't really go anywhere um, i want you to talk to god and and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you feel so much better, just like breathing fresh air. So there, I'm going to give you some ideas of prayers that you can write down in your journals. And here's one. It says, Dear Jesus, I'm so glad I can pray to you anytime and anywhere I want. Help me to remember to talk to you, not just when I'm in trouble or when I want something, but help me to pray for others too. You're so awesome, and I want to thank you for always being there for me. I claim your promise in Proverbs 15, 8. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. Please keep me upright because I want to please you too. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayers and for being my best friend. I love you so much. Amen. So that's an example of a prayer or, or that you can write down in your journal. Maybe, um, maybe you're, you're not really used to praying and you don't really know what to say to God. You can just, you can just write down that. Lord, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to write down. Um, please help me. Um, uh, I, I want to talk to you. I want to get to know you more. I want to worship you and I want to love you. And if you're having trouble at home, maybe watching too much TV or playing too many video games, here's another one you can do. You can say, Dear Jesus, help me to stop looking at things on TV that are bad for me and playing video games where I see evil things. It makes me think of Satan instead of you, so I know I shouldn't do it. I claim your promise in Isaiah 33, 15, and 16. He who stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from seeing evil, he will dwell on high. So in the Bible, it gives us so many wonderful promises of what God will do if we seek him and if we, uh, if we pray to him and he will answer all of our prayers. So that's what I really want to do. Dwell on high in heaven with you. Help me to say no to hearing and watching evil things. Help me to be kind the kind of kid you want me to be. Amen. So let's just just write down your thoughts to Jesus. And also, uh, if you want to ask him for things, you can write that down too. So he not only listens to you, but he's watching you too, and he can read the letters that you will write in your journals to him. Okay? So uh, we love you, and we miss you, and hopefully we'll be back in person very soon. Happy Sabbath.